And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day as we move into the Asian session. It's the 30th of May 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets right now. And of course, with no lead from Wall Street, with US markets shut and the FTSE also closed. A little guidance for Asia this morning. Obviously, the debt ceiling draft deal is to be put in front of Congress this week as well as some big data coming out later on in the week are going to be the major market movers. As for today, US futures are higher in Asia, but really at the same level as they were yesterday at this time of the day. Asian markets are mixed. The cost is outperforming the ASX. It seems to be holding on to a 0.1% gain after a good move up yesterday. European futures are pointing to a mixed open, but this is primarily due to the FTSE being closed yesterday. A bit of catch up to do. Uh, the VIX dropped and is sitting below 18, suggesting the market's fairly calm at this stage. Uh, US dollar index is near neutral again today, above the 200 EMA. A very low volume, obviously, yesterday with the US and half of Europe being closed. Gold is holding support. Copper's edged higher this morning in Asia for the second day on the spin after testing seven months lows last week, and all is moving higher, near near a key level, uh, which looks important technically. Uh, Bitcoin was very choppy yesterday, gapped to the upside, uh, short through 28,000, and then as the day progressed, managed to work its way back down to where it opened from. It is pretty near neutral today also, just under that 28,000 level. Be interesting to see what happened next with that difficult one to call at this stage. On the data front, Japanese employment bid expected, that employment rate down 0.1 of a percent. Later on this afternoon, we've got the Swiss GDP. So watch if you're in Swissy trades, the Eurozone consumer confidence and business climate data. And then this evening, we've got US housing and consumer confidence out of the US as well. The major highlight for the week, as well as the debt ceiling vote, which will be put in front of Congress over the next few days, is the jobs data. It is the first week of the month, obviously. Uh, by the time we get to Friday, we see the ADP and the weekly jobs out on Thursday and the non-farm payrolls out on Friday. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, the euro looks interesting against the USD. It looks as though we've found a bottom just above the 200 MA. You can see there. Uh, we've tested it in the last three sessions. Looks slightly higher today. A bit premature to get excited about this, but uh, certainly on the daily chart, a move over 107.32 may be significant. If we put it on an hourly chart, you'll see that in a little more detail. Uh, so certainly in the first instance, perhaps move up 30 pips to around about this 107.60 level, possibly even 107.80 as the day progresses. Want to certainly keep an eye on just a little bit of weakness in the USD as we've seen the morning progress in Asia so far. On the ASX, one stock that's caught our eye is Nickel Industries, ticket code NIC. Uh, you can see here we've had a really nice bounce off uh, level here at around about 82 cents, uh, moved up fairly significantly over the last three trading days. And we've got follow through today. There's the level of interest that we're keeping an eye on, around about 91 cents. Uh, if we breach that, we could easily see this up to a dollar. So around about a 9% plus move to the upside. Uh, you can see how it may get stuck here if we look at previous price action around that dollar level uh, with resistance back here in April. Nearly made it in uh, early May as well. So one to keep an eye, but worth being patient for a break of 92. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.